Here is a great puzzle sent in by Mr. Ajit Ache, a mechanical engineer by training from the prestigious IIT Bombay and a math and puzzle enthusiast himself. So thank you Mr. Atle for the puzzle. The puzzle goes something like this. There is a square A, B, C, D given to us within which there is a quarter arc enclosed here with center A and two semicircles over here and the second over here with these sides as their diameter. And these three arcs have these three points of intersection which define this triangle. We need to find uh, what fraction of the area of this square is occupied by this area of triangle. So if you want to do this puzzle on your own, you can pause the video here. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and start solving it. Okay, so let's start solving this problem. Over here, the given triangle is defined by these three points, which are points of intersection of three arcs. And our strategy is that if we can simplify the very definition of that triangle, you know, how we are getting those three points, three vertices in the first place, then perhaps the way to solve it will also get simplified. So let's explore in that direction. So let's copy this uh, square here along with the three arcs and we'll start folding that paper. And as we fold, we get this line of fold okay, over here. We can copy that line in our original diagram. Then we'll do the same thing. But this time we are going to have fold in a different direction, say vertically like this. And that gives us another fold line, which again we copy to the original diagram. And uh, there we go. Just by folding this paper in halves, we are getting our first point. Okay? So this point we can call as O. And that also gives us this point O1, which is the center of this arc over here. Next, we think of some more folds. Over here, we notice that this vertex of the triangle is an intersection of this semicircle and this quarter circle. But the two are intersecting at this point as well. And that's not surprising. Two circles intersect in two points. But those two points are symmetrical about their line of centers. So if we connect their centers like this, and if we fold, then we are going to get this point B exactly folded over this point. Let's actually test this. So here we are making that fold and you'll see that point B is going and exactly sitting at the vertex we need. So that's the recipe of one more point from the triangle and this vertex, uh, it's symmetrically placed. So we just have to repeat this procedure from the other end. So now instead of the arcs, we got all these three points using just folds of paper. And that's going to simplify our problem. Okay, so here are our four lines. Uh, let's call this angle as angle theta. And we'll show that over here uh, just for simplicity. Now this triangle that is formed here uh, is made up of half the side of the square, then the full side. So it is going to be 1 is to 2 is to square root 5. Okay, we can write it as 1 is to half is to uh, square root 5 by uh, then we are going to take this side here and we are folding about this line that is reflecting about that side. So that will give us this point B dash and this angle now becomes 2 theta. Uh, just for reference, we can put this background over here. So this is our full square and this is a given triangle. We have got this vertex. Uh, let's draw this diagonal which will give us a 45 degree line like this. And now we are going to think of this small angle over here, which is made up of this entire angle of 2 theta minus this 45 degree angle. So let's mark that uh, angle over there. And that angle is going to be very helpful because what we need here, the half base B dash M and this height are related to this angle. B dash M is the opposite side and its adjacent side is this whole AM from which if we subtract this half diagonal, we will get the height of our desired triangle. So let's do that calculation over here. Here we are shooting for the angle alpha, which is 2 theta minus 45. So we'll start by writing the trigonometric ratios of theta first, which is a 1 is to 2 is to square root 5 triangle. So we can quickly write these ratios. Then we write the ratios for 2 theta. 
and this is even simpler because the moment we have two theta it's going to be a three four five triangle from one to square root five if you go to double it is three four five so here are the ratios of two theta then let us think of alpha itself which is two theta minus 45 degrees and here are the ratios of alpha then we'll start thinking about the area of the triangle which is going to be two times the half triangle which is o b dash m and the area of that half triangle would be half of the base uh, b dash m into the height which is going to be a m minus half the diagonal a o then we simply substitute the values uh, b dash m is opposite to alpha uh, a m is the adjacent side to alpha and uh, the half diagonal would be given by one upon square root two or cos 45 we substitute the values and when we calculate we get that the triangle is going to occupy 125th of the entire area of the square so that's the answer to our puzzle i hope you enjoyed this puzzle and let me leave you at the end with a few links to some more interesting puzzles on this channel in case you want to explore them and thank you for watching